I can often hold a standard kitchen match to my water and like I said, it is unpredictable, but the methane randomly travels with the water and sometimes it will light just like that. Water always contains dissolved gases and minerals, but this water is carrying so much methane it can turn a tap into a flamethrower. The water caught on fire! <gasps> 145 million Americans get their water directly from groundwater reservoirs. Most of the time that water contains around one milligram of methane per litre, produced by microbes living in shallow, oxygen-poor, muddy sediment. But methane also naturally exists deep underground in rock layers containing coal, oil or natural gas. Down there, pressures can reach hundreds of atmospheres, trapping methane inside tiny rock pores. When oil and gas wells are drilled by fracking, high pressure fluids crack the rock and open up natural fractures or fault lines. This creates pathways that allows the methane to migrate for hundreds of meters and enter the groundwater wells, where it dissolves into the water. Studies have found methane concentrations 17 times higher in water wells within one kilometer of active shale gas sites. When you turn on the tap, that methane-rich groundwater is pumped directly into your home, where the pressure drop forces the dissolved methane to come out of the water, building up in the room and creating an ignition risk. Since the majority of the methane in the water degasses as it comes through the tap and methane is non-toxic, the tap water is in theory safe to drink, it just might come with the unexpected side effects of fire breathing. If you like science to really test the waters, follow for more.